Merry Christmas time everyone. In the spirit of Christmas time bringing people together, I thought it would be great to get into the spirit by watching people leave comments that weren't very nice. So pour yourself a cup of hot chocolate, cozy up to the fire in absolutely nothing but your Christmas sweater, and let's get into this. Absolutely disgusting. Excuse me? Ranking the movie that killed Star Wars is sixth. All the sequels should occupy the last three spots in the ranking, and The Last Jedi must be last, or at least penultimate. A fair few of these are going to be because I liked The Last Jedi, and I could not be happier about it. Man, such your big ass up. Spelling is the enemy of a YouTube commenter. Season 8 was also great. Move on. This is in response to me saying that Brooklyn Nine-Nine Season 8 was garbage, because it is. But some people got a little bit emotional that their favourite series' is final season sucked donkey <laughs> What's your problem, dude? That movie rocks! My problem was that the only thing that rocked was my brain in my skull after I smacked my head against the table watching this garbage. Don't ever do this again. Watch me, bitch. So, the five worst films of a mediocre franchise. Great. What was the point of this again? I don't know, you're the one commenting, bro. Sure, sure, but you made the video, so why don't you know the point of it? Bro, watch the video twice just to say it was pointless. At this point, I've just got to respect the dedication to hating. The background music is intensely distracting. It sounds like there is a faint bell ringing throughout the entire piece. That's a completely fair comment and something I will be fixing in my 2023 year in film review, so subscribe for that. Great narrating, you have a nice delivery for this type of thing. Thank you so much, be sure to subscribe to my main channel for more- No. He done. King Taser? Nah. Done. I listened to this on repeat for over an hour, and now I'm insane. Not a hate comment, I guess, but this is a PSA. The only way not to go insane is to watch all of my shorts. On repeat. Four hours. At full volume. Until you are insane. The f is this sh Oh, well, that's just rude. I actually think Hansen vs Predator is more entertaining than Teacup, but no matter what, it certainly isn't. Dirty forest. F*** you. F*** your mother. F*** your dad. F*** your granddad. F*** the nurse that birthed you. Your mum's boyfriend. Your dad's dominatrix. Forest are the single greatest sports team in history, and the only thing dirty is your filthy mouth. It's not that deep. Don't care. I will never stop talking about that season. Your random opinions are trash and obnoxious. Shut the f*** up. Luckily, there is absolutely no way that I can come off as obnoxious in this video. Maybe get a life? I refuse, and I'm willing to let Andy Samberg kill me on this hill. Don't put three Guardians of the Galaxy movies in the top five. Just pick one. So many different flavours to choose from from across the MCU. Not my fault they're all stellar. This is more of a Guardians of the Galaxy list, not really an MCU list. See, the thing you're confused about is the fact that I don't care if it's a Guardians list. If you don't want me to make a top 5 MCU film list with all three Guardians films in, get them to make better films. I don't even have some cinephile hate boner for the MCU, but like the Prem, nothing can compete with the top 7. My brother in Christ, they are a part of the MCU. I know, I know, but I'm just saying. You could have made a better list instead of picking Guardians three times. No Iron Man who started it all, no Cap, but it's fine, that's just what I would put. I don't like putting multiple of a series in lists like these because usually a series all follow the same style. Well it's a good thing it's not your <laughs> list then. Pretty manky list in my opinion, other than Jojo Rabbit being a masterpiece obviously. Jojo is a masterpiece, it's a shame he seems to have forgotten how to make absolutely stellar works of art. I saw Next Goal wins and it was alright I guess but it was... Just so disappointing when you consider who made it. Five Nights at Freddy's was good, bitch. Uh-huh. So many people agree. These are in my top 10 films. I completely disagree with you. That's cool. But I am genuinely quite surprised that a person has seen both Spy Kids Armageddon and The Exorcist Believer and put them both in the top 10. Maybe they've only seen 10 films this year. Never let bro cook again. Dude, that's why FNAF is FNAF now, because FNAF nerds are everywhere, 
And if you don't like it, then that okay because I cannot to offer to care now for these years. Years. I don't like you for not liking Gina. That's... fair enough. Filthy Democrat identifying as a 19 year old. Um... what? Accutasia 17. Did you watch it? <laughs> My dude, I... made... the f video. This is the one that confused me the most, even more so than the f stroke victim earlier. I don't see anything brilliant. It wasn't as good as people ain't making it to be. It isn't as bad as other people say. It's mid. L plus ratio. At King Taser 17. <laughs> Lemma foul. Libel got angry. Don't you f***ing dare ever insult me like that again. I was socialist, not a liberal. Lies! Lol. Movie sucked horrible. Nonsense story and politics punching you in the face. Just breathe, my guy. I've never seen a comment that gives such a sense of fatigue when reading it. Never rate again! The five worst major films of the year. Top five MCU films of all time. The worst five MCU films. The five best Doctor Who seasons. Ranking all the modern Doctors. My top five films of all time. Top five worst films of all time. Five worst films of the year so far. Never comment again! Exclamation mark, speaking, fire emoji, 100. Damn! BS. No. It's Spider-Man. I personally think you're framing the show in a bad light. This was a bit more of a nuanced comment than a hate comic, but it's just here because I was wondering, has anybody else had that thought when watching that video? I was also going to ask if people had seen that video, but the chances of somebody knowing enough about me to care to click on this video, and having not seen that video, is slim to none. I mean, you don't have to be such a hater of the last season. You know they have the right to sue you. If you don't like anything, maybe keep it to yourself? I am so upset that this guy's comment thread got nuked because it was just so funny. The whole thread was talking about how my fair use even by British standards review could lead to NBC suing me. This came as news to me as it must have been missed off my intellectual property law module. Also, NBC are welcome to the zero pounds and zero pence made from that video, but it was also nice just to get a comment on that video that wasn't just Oh, woke Hollywood has destroyed famously non-woke show Brooklyn Nine-Nine. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, look at you trying to be a YouTuber and got only 11 views! I'm sure this video will at least triple that. Hey. My name is Calvin McCarthy. I am the writer-director of this movie. Sorry you didn't enjoy it, but thank you so much for taking the time to review it and watch it. Please consider reviewing our other films. Oh wow, how'd that get in there? I guess we've run out of hate comments. This is one of my favourite comments I've ever received because it shows that we can all criticise each other without becoming petulant children. So I would like to thank everyone for the amazing support I've received over the year and tell you that things will be improving very soon. I'm absolutely determined to get these microphone settings right for the 2023 film video even if I have to pay to get somebody to set it up. Thumbnails will also be getting better, even though I make like 30 a video, and I will hopefully be able to up the production value in the future. To make sure you're here for the Year of the King, also known as 2024 on this channel, subscribe and ring the bell to never miss a video. Leave a like as that helps me a lot, and I would appreciate it a lot as well, which also goes for commenting. Just please make sure it's something utterly horrendous, so I have motivation to take a long walk perpendicular to Trent Bridge. Bye.